Ja, hallo, daar is Jan van Kirsteluts en reporting from the Superbooth in Berlin. And I'm here with Janis from Deadbox Synthesizers. And uh, he has got some really nice uh, synthesizers and modules to show you. Hello, Gerslats. I'm Janis. Um, I will take you a quick tour around the, our new stuff and maybe some old. Um, so, uh, the big news is probably the Abyss, the four voice poly uh, synthesizer. Uh, which is actually consisted of uh, a single Mormox voice. Some people might be uh, familiar with the Mormox synthesizer series. Um, we just plug out of it uh, a single oscillator with the Mormox filter and uh, multiple four. And uh, we have as a result the Abyss, which sounds right. very raw. And I, I see there's, there's different... Uh Waveforms here on the on the VCO. What, what can you tell us a bit about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, actually, what you have here is just a sawtooth and a square wave and noise. Right. And just by combining them and uh, um, inverting them, uh, we got some various uh, other options. Like um, here, for example, you have uh, like let's say a sawtooth uh, one octave up from the original. Um, you can have a uh, pulse width on the show to uh, wave. Uh, you can also have modulation of this uh, waveforming. Um, you uh, you can also have um, four in the, uh, different ways to play the abyss. You have a multi-channel, which is like uh, its voice divided right. into a MIDI channel. Uh, you have unison mode, polyphonic, and chords. Chords is like uh, the the unison, but the voices are spread around the keyboard. Are, are, are these uh, are these uh, preset? Uh, yeah, these work as a preset for the, the chords, uh -huh. and they also they are also used to to adjust the multi timbre on right. the synthesizer. Um, okay. You you also have one oscillator and a subwave per voice, uh, which since it's a single oscillator, it helps a lot with the subwave. So you can hear the the, the pulse uh, modula modulation sweeps much uh, uh, thicker. Um, you have four independent uh, four, four LFOs, one per voice, which can also be detuned. Um, you can also detune the glides between the voices, which sounds very musical in some cases. Uh -huh. um, and I see, I see your reflector. What is a reflector? In, in the, the reflector is actually BBD delay uh, oh, okay. up, up to 45 ms. Oh, okay. So you can make chorus, flangers, uh, static, uh, and a phaser. So, so all your synths, uh, they have a sort of character of their own, right? Yeah. And right. Uh, what what did you aim for on when? I mean, the abyss is, sounds like something really deep, right? Uh, well. I, I had no goal, initially I had no goal, I just uh, put together some elements, uh, tried different combinations, mm -hmm. and when I got to it, I said, oh, nice, Yeah. this is it, okay. this is how I will make this polishing. Um, got the stamp of approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have your new uh, Nix yeah. analog, what, what, what is this? Well, y you can imagine Nix as the sister of Erebus. Nix is like uh, Nichta, gods uh -huh. of the night. Um, well, wh what this is is actually an uh, enhanced Erebus. It has the same uh, oscillators as Erebus has, but it has a geo filter, the same as Erebus. But again, you can have high pass on uh, mode on this uh, machine, uh, and you have a, a very complex. Very complex, a complex routing method, um, which I, I really tried to, to, to keep it as simple as I could, um, having in mind uh, the ease of use, bit changing between modes. So, for example, you can have uh, a standard 24 dB low pass filter by uh, having both filters in series. You can have parallel filters uh, where uh, each oscillator goes to a different filter. You can have uh, high-pass serials filters. You can have a parallel filter where one filter is low-pass, the other high-pass. You can skip uh, the, the oscillators and send them directly to the VCA. Uh -huh. and that way you get a much thicker sound, of course, by 
just bypassing uh, the, the filter and you could also have there the self oscillation of the filters through it so initially you, you have like four voices there for four, four, right. four sound generators yeah right. yeah it's uh, again paraphonic like the Erebus and here uh, another feature is that you you won't find the standard ADSR envelope Instead of this, we have uh, made this modulator thing stuff, where um, you should see this as a aid attack decay or attack release envelope, right. where you can loop itself. Right. So you can have a LFO, uh, attack decay, attack release, and right. all between. Right. Um, yeah. And you have three of them of this. So two of them are aimed for the filter where you can split them again, change where it's modulated goes, et cetera, et cetera. And one of them is just for a VCA. All right. I see a patch panel, uh, so it's Eurorack friendly, right? Yeah, it is Eurorack friendly. Um, again, we have 15 patches, like, like the Erebus, some outputs, some inputs. They combine very nice with each other, the Erebus and the Nix. Uh, All right, cool. And you have also a reverb instead of a delay. Yeah. Which is like, uh, I would try to, to, to describe this like a um, simmering like uh, never ending uh, reverb. Right. You, you can get all between this and the standard fixed reverb. How, how, how much, how long is the reverb? How, how, how much seconds? You long. Can, you can have it uh, like infinite. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're here with your new Eurorack uh, modules. They're a little bit different from the first, uh, the drips and the other uh, uh, modules. Uh, what, what, what is the philosophy behind the new series? Okay, so here we have actually the white line series modules. Mm. Um, well, the philosophy is that I just took part of the other scenes, made them uh, Eurorack modules. I kept them as simple as possible, easy to understand, easy to use. I try to make them as affordable as possible, um, and it's usually like pretty straightforward. For example, you have an oscillator, tune, fine tune, just the, the wave outputs, a pulse wave input, CV input, sync input, very straightforward. Mm -hmm. And that goes for every module here, like the filter, you get high pass, low pass, cutoff, it's Okay. Like very very simple. Uh, what 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 kind of uh, topology the filter has? What 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 is? It? This actually is the, the Airbus filter. Oh okay. And here, for example, we have the Murmux filter. Ah. Uh, here we have the reverb of the Nix, um, the modulator of the Nix, uh, the reflector you can find on the Abyss, uh, the phaser on the Abyss, uh, which uh, ah, it's not currently here, but we have this on a uh, Eurac module right. also. Uh, uh, drive of the abyss. I see. I see splash panel. What is what's that? The splash actually, it's um, it's an effect pedal that we don't make. Uh, this is this Euro is made um, in the collaboration with a, a Greek effect pedal company right. that makes this great reverb, which uh, he allowed us to have in in our Nix synthesizer. All oh, right. Uh, and we also made it as a Eurac module. Okay. And uh, lastly, I see that you have a case now. Yeah, we also supply uh, 84 2 rows or 84 uh, HP Eurac cases. With a nice utility uh, panel. Yeah, behind. again, uh, as the old case we had, we, we also placed some utilities uh, like MIDI to CV, uh, mixers, uh, splitter, yeah. attenuators, LFOs and stuff.